for the guy pursuing his dream. Sometimes people get left behind. It takes a lot of dedication, a lot of commitment, a lot of hard work in order for a person to achieve their dreams. So many people along the way, it's hard for me to sit and talk about the things and the people that influenced me, not only as a man, but as a basketball player, because it's so many examples, so many things. Every time, that's why I never name people, because I start naming names and you always forget somebody. You can never remember all of the people that had an effect on you. A lot of them weren't even basketball players or coaches, just people in general who I came across in my life, who um, helped toughen me up or taught me lessons, life lessons that transcended life and uh, also helped me out on the basketball court. I could never replace the experiences and the strength that I had coming out of the city of Chicago. I had an uh, extra edge. Everywhere I went, I would play and I would see guys and I would see talent all over the world and I would always say I wonder if he could play in Chicago it was different you know and I, I was very aware that I, I, I didn't, I, I've been a lot of places the only places that I saw that I've been to that I can say the street ball is comparable to Chicago is New York they ball they know the game and the streets will eat you alive if you get out there and you stink it up they gonna let you know about it you know in the city of Chicago if you go down to that pro-am and you get some work, Tim end up giving you 63. Believe me, everybody gonna know about it before you even get back home. And this was even before the days of social media. Very, very, very tough environment. Survival of the fittest. I always be grateful to the city of Chicago and the streets for all the love that they showed me. I found myself playing basketball in some neighborhoods that a guy from the south side really shouldn't have been in. But nothing ever happened to me. And it was all because of my abilities out there on the basketball court. People just wanted to be entertained. They just wanted to see something that they hadn't seen before. And this always made me want to be uh, some sort of a humanitarian and never forget where I came from. Because I know that it was those streets that gave me my heart. And heart is just as important as talent. Because a lot of guys with talent get out there and they get punked out on the court. And so to that, for the city of Chicago, I'll forever be grateful. At any rate, the Devils are still scoreless. A little more than two minutes into the game. Heidersbach for three, bullseye. The Golden Eagles of Northeastern Illinois sank 10 three-pointers Friday night. Good ball movement by Northeastern Illinois, Tim. The alley-oop to Horde, beautifully executed. The pass from William Keyes. It really is tough. Keyes for three. And they're picking up where they left off the other night. With 17 on the shot clock, Horde initiates his drive into the lane and scores. Both the Eagles and the Devils shooting over 50% so far as Horde works on Jeremy Veal. Nice move by Andrell Horde. He's got 10 points. So already up by five, Northeastern Illinois gets the ball back here. Horde, 4-3, yes. Horde. Great oh, nice. penetration, dishes to Hines, and he scores. Six oh, points for Davino Hines, but Andrell Horde putting on an all-around clinic. Sure has. You know, we saw the videotape of Horde. Not just the score, Tim. Gets everybody involved. Here trying to get another teammate involved, Kalen Coleman, and he tickles the twine on his first shot of the game. Coleman, a 6'1 junior from Chicago. This is Kalen Coleman for Northeastern Illinois, and there's the man of the day so far, Andrell Horde, number 22. He was a player to watch. We told you about him, and he's lived up to expectation. Great feed there to Davino Hines. That's what I told you, Tim. Horde is not just the score. I mean, his, his passing is excellent. Has a knack of finding people, sets him up real nice. That was a nice pass by Kelly, but Alan Lewis couldn't convert, and here comes William Keyes in transition. Oh. And Hines there to tip it in. No one boxed him out. 
And Northeastern has now. its biggest lead of the day at 12 points, 41-29. And we have a 20-second timeout, or is it a full timeout? Place up the sneakers and go after it here, guys. Hines driving and scoring. And Davino Hines with his first second half basket. He has 12 points on the day. This is Kalen Coleman with the ball. 12 on the shot clock. Devils doing a decent job in the half court. Right. Hyder's box. 4-3. It was an off-balance shot, but look who's there to get the rebound. The stick back for Davino Hines with just over three and a half left to play in regulation. Court is open. Look out. Oh, that's, that's a big time basket. A nine-point lead and one minute Three remaining shots. in the game. And Horde with the steal. The nation's leader a year ago, and he stuffs it down. That may do it to it, Jim. That'll put the period to the paragraph, I do believe, Gil. 28. Heidersbach, the all-time three-point shooter, and that's the man, Andrew Horde. Penetration puts up the J. Nothing but silk. And boy, he looks smooth, doesn't he? Northeast Illinois won the first meeting 76-72 back in Chicago in December. Heidersbach, the all-time three-point shooter in his school history, shows you why as he bottoms it out that time down. The rebounder, in fact, is Davino Hines. George talked about Davino in the pregame. 20 rebounds against Arizona State in the victory in Tempe by Northeastern Illinois earlier. Thigpen, who did not play against ORU earlier in the season because of an injury, plays here as he gets his first bucket. But you see William Keyes dribble it out front. Good man-to-man -man pressure by ORU. Heidersbach goes to Thigpen, the man in the middle. He tries to free himself up, and then they decide to start the offense over one more time. Davino Hines takes three or four steps. That apparently is okay as he gets the Kareem hook shot. Davino looking good right there. Four points for him. But it takes a while, and you saw the freshman mistake there. Well, even as strong as he really is, you can't sit here and wait on him to hang on to the basketball. Got to have stronger hands. Hort hits the three. And drill looking to run the offense for Northeast Illinois. That's William Keyes. He'll free himself up for a three. Give it to it. Three-point basket for William Keyes. Carry in the paint. Has it knocked away? Good defense by Davino Hines. Hines goes to Heiderbach. He'll spot up for three. Swish. Three for three from the outside. Nine for the game. Three by Heidersbach, who has nine points to pace the visitors. Ford tries to get him buddy up and ready one more time for a three. And Heidersbach delivers four for four from the outside. Twelve for him. The all-time school leader in threes. He had 134. Man-to-man -man for the Golden Eagles of ORU. Ford left alone for a jump shot. Silky smooth. He has eight. Somebody to break the ice. Reese Johnson was asking us how he doesn't start. Clifford Crenshaw almost started the break, but instead it's Hines ending up with it and the bucket. So tough break there for ORU. Trying to push some buttons to get into this lead, which has been as many as 13. And Hyder's block is on fire. Five for five from three-point land. 15 points. Do not give him the open look. 17, fifth longest in college basketball. Hyder's block, his first miss of the game after hitting five straight threes, but here's Horde with a nice putback effort. It won't go, but he gets his own. Andrell for the J, and you can't give him three opportunities. Give him 14. First points of the second half. Mark Heidersbach. Penetration by Keyes. Puts up the shot. It won't go. There's Pollard with his first rebound and first shot. Nicely done there time by Horace, the junior from Chicago. Six points for Kevin, 66-49. Heidersbach. His first three, three of the second half after hitting five for five in the first half. Still a lot of time left. Eight and a half minutes to go, and with plays like that, it's going to get real, real ugly. As you see, the rebound put up and in. I see the rebound, the jam put up and in by Mr. Hort.